how's it going? Uh, so I want to make this short video uh, just to show and reassure you that uh, my beta still gets some free time to swim um, in this 40 gallon with my guppies. So um, previously in uh, my videos I showed you that I was breeding many couples of betas and they were jarred and in smaller tanks like two or five gallons. Uh, but that was only for breeding purposes. Um, my real motto is to keep your betas in a very well planted tank uh, with a lot of hiding spots and therefore there will be no damage done to them. Uh, in this tank I actually put this male just because he seemed bored and he's not a good breeder. He looks very very beautiful but uh, his breeding skills absolutely suck. <laughs> so I tried twice to breed him for two different females and after the breeding, he only stayed with his nest for like a day and then he gave up on the bubbles. So, um, and I know it was a fertile female that I gave him because it's my main breeding female, which is the big one, uh, which is currently not in this tank. So, um, since he is not doing the job, I just put him in my um, guppy community tank uh, with the rest of my females. So, there's one male currently and a bunch of females. This one is a giant female as you can see i hope i'm not going too fast i have two giant females uh the other one is somewhere at the bottom she got really roughed up uh by another male that also didn't do the job properly so <laughs> they're here all on vacation type of um so i also have the candy cane females in here i have one here they're so fast Oh, that's the one that got roughed up. So if your female looks like that after breeding, um, don't freak out. It's normal. Uh, shredded fins are normal during breeding. Some males are just really not nice. And she went back down. Um, by the way, guppies are one of the best companions to uh, betas. They're quick, they're small, they're sharp, and um, they're hard to catch for betas. So, even though I have multiple betas in here, I still have a ton of fry and like I even have like newborns and yeah, they try to catch them, but they're not really good at what they're doing. So, and I think the guppies understood that when a beta slows down next to you and goes vertically, they're about to strike. So the guppies are kind of smart enough for that. And yeah, those are my fry right there. I have like newborns today. That's awesome. So let me just show you my, um... oh, by the way, I'll just show you the whole tank since we're at it. So this is how a uh, beta community tank should look like. If it's less planted than that, they will have territory wars. Uh, they won't have enough spaces to just go on on themselves and hide. Um, my male actually chases the females, but there are spots to hide and there's no damage done to them. So. You could technically put like five, six males in here on top of that, but my males are currently all in breeding mode. So um, this is like the best scenario for a beta to actually live in a nice community tank. What I don't suggest is long fin betas uh, because there's a lot of flow like in my tank. Um, I'll just show you the flow uh, from here. I think it will be better. If you have a lot of flow, I suggest uh, short fin fancy betas because they swim easier. They don't have all that long finish to swim. I did try one of my longer fin uh, males in a fast flowing tank and his fins started shredding by themselves and then he started eating them. That was not pretty. Um, so if you have slower flow, actually if you have a tank like that and you have a bubble filter or a canister filter, uh, not a canister, a um, hang on filter, something really slow and smooth, that would be the ideal. Um, anything like a strong canister will really damage a beta's fins if they are long. But short fin betas don't really give a damn. They can swim really, really fast. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell button to get all my latest notifications. All right, I'll see you shortly. Bye.